Bonus XP weekend is coming up. Are you ready? You sure? Hello everybody, Angel Fate here and this is my second bonus XP weekend video. Um, please watch my first video for more basic information. Um, this time around, um, the bonus XP weekend works with the Clan Citadels and it does not stack with the Refer a Friend program. Um, the last time, um, the multiplier resets when your subscription runs out. I'm not sure about this time around. Um, I would suggest that you look up guides um, and practice before the weekend to determine the best way for you to train and concentrate on one skill or maybe two. Don't jump around too much and if like chatting um, makes you slow down then I suggest that you do not chat. In this video I'm gonna give you a general idea on what to expect for each skill like whether it's cheap or expensive or you can train alone or it'll be really crowded at training spots and you know some of the considerations and things to avoid. First off, combat, whatever combat skills you want to train. I think that the greatest challenge will be um, looking for the, a training spot because it's going to be really crowded. Um, look up guides and modify them to suit your own training method and bring the right gear and the right inventory. Always use potions and prayers. Um, don't do distractions and activities like Soul Wars because um, uh, you, the points don't give bonuses. And if you find effigies, just keep them in your bank. I'm doing this alphabetically, so agility. Um, it's best to do some practice, especially if you're like, clicking, so that you can get used to the agility course. Um, well, you can log out there if you want. Um, the circus didn't work the last time. I'm sure that it won't give any bonus this time too. Construction is an expensive skill to train, so maybe the bonus XP weekend will save you some money. Um, do some experiment before the weekend and determine which is the best servant for you to train with. Sometimes a demon butler is not the best. Arrange your house for easy training. Cooking is one of the easier skills to train. Always use your cooking gauntlets. If you haven't done the quest yet, go do Family Crest now. You can have some wine fermenting in your bank while cooking. Um, don't prepare uncooked food from scratch during the weekend. Do it before um, because it does not give a lot of XP. Crafting. If you have the GP to put up, it probably is really worth it. Uh, especially if you can craft the best item that you can. like. Um, dragon hide. Um, don't tan hides and make molten glass during the weekend because it's a waste of time. Well, do that before the weekend. For dungeoneering, you need a team. Um, it's always best to have a fixed team and rush the lower floors first before the weekend. And well, it's best to use voice chat if you're dungeoning in a team. Um, you will not get bonus tokens during the weekend and well no bonus if you buy the XP with tokens. Farming is a very interesting skill to train during the weekend. Uh, it's best to have a set of um, trees and fruit trees um, ready planted uh, so that you just log in and check health you get a lot of XP from that. If you're only training farming you just do a farm run log out and wait and then log in do a farm run log out. Um, then you'll get your maximum multiplier for a long, long time. Um, don't stand around and wait for your um, plants to grow. If you go to your patch and it's not fully grown yet, log out to the lobby and wait uh, so that your timer doesn't go down. I don't know about Livid Farm. I'm sure it'll work, but you can try, you know. it didn't. They didn't announce yet. The thing about fire making is you need to compete for your lane to fire make. So try to choose a less crowded world or um, maybe look for a really far out bank where no people go to. If you haven't heard of it, um, uh, you can learn Paralord fire making which makes uh, two rows of fires at a time. Uh, you can look up a guide on it on YouTube. Fishing is pretty basic. You can try barbarian fishing or power fishing. Just fish drop, fish drop, and use your familiar for fishing boosts. Uh, fletching. The only tip I can give you is just use a one-click bank. 
Uh, one of the faster way to train is adding feathers to boats. Ahaha, herb lord, this is one of the most popular skills to train during the weekend. Um, always use a one-click bank can always make your best the best potion you can first. Uh, you can organize your bank so that you can redraw your um, herbs in seconds real quick. Never ever 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 make unfinished potions during the weekend. Uh, it gives zero XP so it's a complete waste of time. When you think of Hunter, you would think of the bots. So this skill is going to be really crowded because all the popular Hunter areas is going to be full. So you can consider less popular hunting methods like, you know, bear hen um, uh, butterflies uh, to, you know, just to avoid the crowd. For mining, it's best to look for places that you don't have to wait for spawns like the concentrated coal and gold in the living rock caverns or you can try the lava flow mine. Um, you don't have to like wait for the uh, ores to come back to the rock, whatever. Um, you can mine the shooting stars, but I don't think you get that um, bonus for tagging. I'm not sure. Prayer is a very, very not recommended skill to train during bonus XP weekend because the only thing that works is burying bones and burning shades. So, well, if you have some remains of our crops um, lying around, then you can go buy, burn some power logs. Um, yeah, because the POH altar and the Ecto Funkus do not work. You actually lose XP when you if you do that. So what's the point? Rune crafting is a very slow and boring skill. So if you can do the Greybot project before the weekend and prepare some um, teleport tabs to the altars to make it faster, and uh, organize your bank for um, especially if you're doing the ZMI altar, you need your bank full so that you won't bank your pouches and stuff. Um, do some practice before the bonus starts so that you know you will get to the flow of it and everything will go faster and you won't keep misclicking and everything. Slayer will be fun to train during the weekend because Slayer is actually quite slow. Um, try to get a good task before the weekend, you know, try to finish off the slow, boring task first. And always, if during the weekend, cancel out all the slow tasks and cannon every task that you can. Um, try to ignore smaller drops and use the Bone Crusher to reduce banking. Um, well, don't buy Slayer XP with Slayer Points because that doesn't work. And if you get effigies, just keep it in your bank and don't worry about it until the weekend ends. Uh, for smithing, always smith the best item that you can. If you are smithing ores, um, try to use superheating um, so that you don't have to run to and fro from the bank. Unfortunately, the most popular smithing method is, does not work during the weekend, which is the goldsmith gauntlets. It doesn't stack with the bonus XP. Summoning is actually quite worth it um, to train during bonus XP weekend on one condition, that you have to um, train it after the first 10 hours of your counter. <laughs> um, try to calculate and plan out your charm usage and uh, make sure you prepare the seconds for the best um, pouch that you can make even after leveling up, leveling up during the weekend. You know, It's awesome that the permit plunder works um, for thieving um, or if you're thieving any other way, um, practice um, your accuracy or clicking uh, before the weekend. Uh, the Sorcerer's Garden or the Skirt Juice from the Garden does not give any bonus XP, so um, we'll leave that place to the bots. We're at the end of our video, wood cutting. Um, the best way is of course to chop ivy for no profit, but it is the bonus XP weekend, so screw profit. <laughs> or you can um, wood cut in your farming patch tree so that you don't have to compete with other people. Um, the Hydra will help in this case. Um, or you can try your luck at finding a less crowded tree wood cutting area. But yeah, good luck with that. Alright, that's it for the guide. I hope it helped you guys. And I wish you good luck for bonus XP weekend. And most importantly, have fun. Bye.